welcome to Gigi Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're doing the reading for Dear Capricorn. So my dear Capricorn, uh, we ask today the, the energy of light to the universe to guide us and tell us what's happening in your love life right now, going toward the mid-November. And what we did, we explored first of all your energy, then the energy of the person that you had in your mind. Um, so we'll have a more better understanding of the dynamic between you two and what possible outcome it can you can guys can have um for the the capricorn that are are single after that we're going to do a little spread of three cards to see um if there's someone coming towards you or not okay so my dear capricorn like you can see the spread is already on the table we did it in french now we're translating in it in english so take into consideration that this was a general reading so contrary to a personal one it might not all resonate with you take what belongs to you and let go of the rest if the reading doesn't resonate with you at all my dear capricorn you can always watch the video and link with one of your rising sign or just let it be maybe today me as a reader i didn't have a message for you as a person too so my dear capricorn the way I saw things, there's someone who came back into your life, but you're not too sure uh, of the intention of that person. But it's the coming back that makes you happy because you're expressing how happy you are and that uh, to have them in your life. And this is giving you a lot of joy actually right now. You are so in a bliss about everything that you're exhuming um, emotion. Uh, it shows it's the come. It shows on your face that you're in love and you, you're very, you're giving a lot to that person and you're working hard to make things go forward. But the thing is, you feel that even though you're making all that effort, that things are not moving forward with that person. So you're doubting now of the intention of the person and what was all those action uh, that they made toward you were about. Because um, the thing is, you still holding on to um, what was with that person. So for them coming back, it just reignite what you were missing from that relationship. So now that they're back, that you're working on it, that you're showing them that you really love them, really care for them, and that you want things to work out, let's see what are the intentions towards you and what are the feelings towards you. Okay, so the general energy for your person was the emperor in reverse. There's no direction uh, from your person here. They don't know where they're going with, uh, with that connection. When they came in, I think they came in without uh, really um, thinking about things. So it was just uh, maybe a reconnection for them. Uh, they, don't, they didn't know if they were going forward, but the fact that you expressed how you felt to them and that you show them so much love as they, they were there to mostly receive, okay, then give. So they probably are very passionate about, about you. Probably um, the intimacy between you two is something very, very doing great, but uh, as a feeling, they're not there yet. They're not, uh, they're not sure if they want to invest uh, in emotionally towards you. So they're feeding you a little bit of uh, hope there with the Four of Cups. It's like, mm, I don't know. Yes, I'm connecting in a certain way with Capricorn, but do I want to be in a relationship with Capricorn? So there's not much, even though you're giving them that much love, you feel that they're, they're not showing you in action um, that it's moving forward. But, uh, and it's true, they're not, they're not doing anything to bring things forward. Even then, I feel that they're being a little tr tricky uh, with you because I feel here with the Seven of Cups that they have other options and they're contemplating things elsewhere. So they don't, they don't have a direction concerning that connection between you and them. Them, actually, they actually right now, they're just um, listening to the inner voice and exploring whatever 
that is around them. They don't want things to be over between you and them because there's still a little bit of feelings there, a little bit of the fact that you express so much feelings toward them and that you're showing them that you care um, makes them want to, not want to stay, but developing more and more feelings towards you, but it's not going anywhere. It's just the beginning of feelings. So um, that's why they're not making too much effort. I tried to clarify here why the Three of Pentacles was in reverse for the person. And what came out here, your person is still in the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so it's an energy usually of someone that likes being single, but the they, not only they like being single, I think they still hurt from either a past relationship or what happened between you before. And here they feel that they are happy, you know, taking care of themselves, exploring other possibilities. So this is what they are feeling. So when I asked the Oracle for a message here for, uh, for you guys, it says separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning uh, unsure of the future um that person when they came back towards you i feel like they were missing you truly they were missing you um but coming back having that much love from you make them rethink a bit about yes it's possible to come back to capricorn but still i'm still hurt from whatever happened before and I, I want to take care of myself. I want to explore if there's other possibility out there. So I feel this is what message, um, what is the guidance you have now here in your hands with Capricorn. So you decide how you want to continue in that relationship, that connection that you have. You push forward, continue to see where it's going. You have just enough guidance for that. The rest is belongs to you. So for the Capricorn that are single, uh was there any possibility for you to meet someone new what came out was actually four cards and it's a no-no for now even though you're open to get um to be in a new relationship it's not the right time for you to be in, the, in a relationship because you're not totally healed from whatever uh here i felt like maybe you had a third party situation that that happened in the past relationship so you're still not totally um healed from that so opening up to a new connection is very hard for you in the moment so even though you want to it's not like the energy that you're putting out there so there's nothing coming forward usually it's when you heal and you're not even looking for love that it's coming towards you so this is the message that i have here for my dear capricorn Oh, well, hopefully uh, this resonates with you and give you the guidance that you were looking for. If yes, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, see you guys in two weeks.